Hey guys, tonight I'd like to introduce you to the very first lock that I ever picked. This, this old Yale, made in Italy. Uh, I picked this when I was 12 years old. And I picked it off of a storeroom in which my father used to store sodas and chips and liquor because uh, we were living in New Delhi, India. And he, his embassy duties required him to do some entertaining. And so uh, he kept everything locked up so us kids wouldn't gobble it all up and gorge ourselves and get sick. Anyway, I took a piece of wire and a piece of a pen, if I recall, and I literally stuck it in there and it popped open. But looking at that bidding, I don't, it doesn't think, I don't think that's going to be possible. I, I did pick this when I found it. Uh, my father passed away and I found this on, um, hanging on the wall of his workbench. And as soon as I saw it, I realized it was the one that had earned me that beating. So, anyway, I have picked it since then, obviously. Um, it does not have any security pins, and at least for me, those are some of the hardest locks to pick because of the lack of feedback. This is one where I'm going to put the tension wrench in and stick the pick all the way to the rear, and it's a wide keyway, so we have to go just a little bit of an angle. But for me, normal pins are sometimes really hard to pick because you don't have any dramatic feedback. It's very subtle, the, some of the feedback you get. And you're literally looking for the one pin that's going to be binding. And so your tension on the tension wrench is just absolutely critical. Your tension control. Uh, it, it, without good tension control, you will never be able to pick, find that binding pin. And I'm kind of rough with locks, and so I have trouble with that. So let's see if we can't do it again 35 years after I did it the first time. Okay, I'm on pin 5, and I'm just moving down the stack, looking for a binding pin, and I felt 4 pop into place, or at least it clicked, and for me, as I said, sometimes I need a, my wife will tell you, I don't take subtle hints very well at all. And I'm just touching each of the pins, finding out which one is binding, and if it is binding, I'm going to go ahead and press it. And if it doesn't work, it's not a big deal. I'll just release the tension and we'll begin this again. So, well, there we go. Popped open. Uh, so, at least this time I don't have to worry about my father coming in and giving me a beating for popping it. But I think right now I'm going to go in and gorge myself on my own soda or perhaps a glass of wine and, and some chips to celebrate the opening. Anyway, everybody thank you for your time. Everybody stay safe and uh, stay legal.